DNA mitochondria. DNA mitochondria are passed down exclusively through the matriarchal line. We assume that the purpose of the purpose is a mother of the purpose. If you have a mother of the purpose, From among the remains unearthed from the Jiangjialiang graveyard in Yangyuan County, Hubei province, specialists at the Research Centre of Frontier Archaeology of Jilin University selected ten samples for examination. All had been taken from four joint tombs. The scientists tested these samples using a technique known as PCR, through which the amount of DNA is enlarged to increase the number of DNA mitochondria. When specialists examined the DNA sequences, they found that nine of the ten samples from the Jiangjialiang graveyard had different DNA sequences. The result of this test provided an important piece of evidence from the point of molecular biology for determining the prevailing social system at the time the Jiangjialiang graveyard was in use. Earlier, archaeologists had made a judgment based on the shape of the tombs, the burial methods, and the discovery of female remains with a jade pig dragon that the Jiangjialiang graveyard was a clan cemetery and that the deceased had lived in a matriarchal society. The DNA test, however, refuted this assertion. If Jiangjialiang is a Muslim society, 在这四个合葬墓中的十个个体，他应该在每一个合葬墓中，他们的个体呢应该具有呃相同的母系血亲关系，也就是说他们的 DNA 序列要具有相同的 DNA 序列，而我们的实验结果呢却得出了相反的结论。The Laboratory for Protecting Science and Archaeology Techniques and Cultural Relics of Peking University also conducted carbon-14 tests on the remains at the Jiangjialiang site. And further confirmed the conclusion. The Jiangjialiang graveyard was in use about 5,000 years ago, and the houses about 6,800 years ago. This period of time corresponds to the era of Yangshao culture and to the Shennong era as recorded in history books. It is thus certain that the houses found at Jiangjialiang were built in the early period of the Shennong era while the tombs were built in the latter period of the Shennong era. But who built these houses and tombs? To understand the cultural relationship between them, we need to do a lot of research. 我们掌握的材料，发现江家梁墓地与内蒙古赤峰大南沟墓地的这个文化面貌非常相似。大南沟墓地与江家梁墓地，他们在这个墓葬的分布排列、排列，在这个墓葬形制、葬式、葬俗，以及随葬品方面，都有着。The Dan and Gou graveyard in Chufeng municipality in Inner Mongolia was located at the source of Hongshan culture. Archaeologists categorize it later Hongshan culture according to the cultural outlook and evidence in the Dan and Gou graveyard. Li Jun holds that the time when the Jiangjialiang graveyard was in use and the genetic relationships between the deceased found there are the same as that found at the Dan Angol graveyard. Moreover, 
pottery artifacts unearthed at the many archaeological sites in the counties of Yuxian and Zhuolu adjoining Yangyuan County look much the same as those unearthed at the Jiangjialiang graveyard. These artifacts reveal that 5,000 years ago, the clan that developed Hongshan culture was ruling the region along the Yanshan Mountains and in the Sangan River Valley. But what was this ancient clan represented by those buried at the Jiangjialiang graveyard really like? Jiangjialiang, Shi 山西省的北部和以这个地区为中心分布区的 Eventually, a combination of archaeological investigation and scientific testing revealed the origins of the ancient inhabitants of Jiangjialiang. They belong to the race of Gu Huabei, or ancient North China. From this, it was possible to reach a further conclusion that they were very likely to be the outcome of an intermingling of the tribes of Huangdi, Yandi, and Chiyou following the Battle of Zhuolu. The areas inhabited by people of the ancient North China type were the south central part of Inner Mongolia, the northern part of Hebei province, the northern part of Shanxi province, and the northern part of Shanxi province. Traces of their activities have also been found in the western part of the Liaohe River Valley and along the lower reaches of the Liaohe River. This region is, as it happens, within the sphere of the archaeological Hongshan culture. Bay Provincial Administration of Cultural Relics entrusted the Jilin University Research Center of Frontier Archaeology with the task of finding out what the people of the ancient North China type looked like, so that we can know the ancestors of the Chinese nation better. The center specialist selected a complete skull of a man from the Jiangjialiang graveyard and restored his head in three dimensions using a computer program. Now, we can see that these people who lived 5,000 years ago look much the same as Chinese today. The major archaeological discoveries made by the Hebei Provincial Administration of Cultural Relics in the area around Zhangjiakou City along the Sangan River reveal that 5,000 years ago, human beings were very active in this region and created a brilliant civilization. Vestiges of Yangshao culture, Hongshan culture, Hogang culture and Longshan culture found in this region show that production tools and utensils for daily use were developed during the periods of these cultures. This region is the only one found so far in China where people of different clans and cultures lived in compact and mixed communities. Two great wars fought 5,000 years ago in the areas of Zhuolu and Banchuan altered the course of Chinese history. Renowned Chinese archaeologist Su Bingqi calls these two wars two tremendous collisions between the South culture and the North culture. Archaeological finds indicate that the roots and the meeting point of the two cultural collisions form a capital Y. 
Sulbing Chi holds that Zhang Jiakou at the fork of these routes is the interface of the fusion of these cultures from the south and the north in prehistoric China and the two-way passage for the exchange and integration of these cultures. Zhang Jiakou city lies to the north of the Yan Shan Mountains and the Tai Han Mountains, and it is the eastern starting point of the region in Eurasia where farming and husbandry interlocked. In remote antiquity, during times of peace, it was a key area in which material and cultural exchange between farmers and herdsmen and communication between the central government and nomadic tribes in the northern frontiers took place. During times of war, it was an area of strategic significance. According to historical records and archaeological finds made in recent years, this was the situation that took shape 5,000 years ago. Zhuolu County in the southern part of Zhang Jiakou municipality was the site of the battlefield where Huang Di fought against Yan Di and Chu Yo for supremacy. It was also where the three great clans under these three great chieftains began to integrate. The war cries and brutal battles of the ancient past have long been muffled in the dust of history. But stories about the three ancestors of Chinese civilization, Wan Di, Yan Di, and Chu Yo, have continued to be told from that ancient time to the present day. The Battle of Zhuolu, the great confrontation between the tribes of Huang Di and Shi Yu, was one of the most significant battles in Chinese history. Its impact has been felt throughout the course of the subsequent 5,000 years. The coming together of the tribes of Huang Di and Shi Yu following the battle was the foundation on which the prehistoric Chinese nation was established. Well, that brings us to the end of our exploration of the ancient city of Zhuolu, otherwise known as Huangdi City. And thank you for staying with us on today's New Frontiers. I'm Qi Xiaojun from CCTV International. Bye for now.